Hello, welcome. MVR building continues. So, uh, I'll just load up the route in the background. Hello. <laughs> Actually, is that already switched over? I think it's not. Hold on. There we go. Now it's switched over. <laughs> yep, that's the stream title. You can see it there for just a moment because now it's the, the darker screen again. It's not against the white. Making progress since 141 episodes. Are you really? Well, it's a little bit more than 141 episodes, isn't it? Well, actually, no, because 141 episodes is the live streams on trains that I've made, not necessarily all MVR building, because I've done multiplayer and route exploration, so it's actually a bit less than that. But who's counting anyway? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Snipes. How are you? I'm good. Just finished doing a bunch of yard work. Uh, do you mean yard work as in shunting or switching around in a yard? Or yard work as in working on building a yard? <laughs> oh, Willis, are you here as well? Hello. Nope. Raking autumn leaves. Ah! <laughs> oh, well, I suppose that's another kind of yard work. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we did last time. We basically made it a lot more green than usual. So, well, for this area at least. So putting in all these trees and grasses and things in these areas. Which is already making it look much better, I think. This, of course, isn't done over here yet, but... Uh, pretty much this bit here is done. So you can see uh, from over here, if you take a look like that. Yes, I'll need to cover up this one bush. Yes, I'm aware of that. If you look in like that, go along here, there's this little dip, the crossing, where then carries on further up and then around. And back here, this little area, we also made. We also put the grass and bushes and things down. Uh, ah, good old cereal co cement plant. <laughs> yes, very good. It is very good. And so easy to operate trains at. So I think we'll just continue with that. And I'll put in roadside details later, like for example, uh, cross bucks or parked cars or things like that. So let's just continue. Let's just continue with the trees. Haha! <laughs> yes, the image you made. <laughs> Okay, so I could put lots of trees in this bit as well, but I prefer to keep this open so that you can actually see the engine shed down there as well as the sidings. So that, so that if there is... So in a session you can see trains going along there or if it's multiplayer, you can maybe see a player struggling up or down that grade and I think that'll be better. I could put some over in this bit though as a bit of a change. Yes, I think I'll do that. Mm hmm Very nice, indeed. Thanks, I didn't really make myself a generator did with this. Mm hmm But still, thanks. Oh, that's okay. Still looks good. So how are we all doing? I'm doing good. Hmm. 
Dann, 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 dann. Ah, this is the one. This is the one I wanted. Okay. And now I'll move some into the ground. To create some lower shrubbery. Will there be a walkway over all of the tracks? What do you mean? Like a sort of industrial footbridge? Um, no, there's already a, a level crossing here. Or grade crossing as it's called. Maybe just a gantry but with no signals? Why would you have that? So the workers can get over the tracks? Well, the workers can just walk over the tracks. Especially in the 1960s, where health and safety weren't that big of a concern, really. And if you work at a place like this, and you keep your eyes open, then you can just walk over the tracks. That's not that dangerous a thing if you uh, are at all familiar with railways. Um, maybe make it lead into one of the buildings, fire exit maybe, or entrance? Still doesn't, wouldn't make that much sense to me. Why would you have a fire exit that comes out at a 90 degree angle that's so thin? Why not just have a ladder going down the side? Um, right, sure, I can't trigger that signals, I thought. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's what I meant with the 90 degree angle. But yeah, the overhead walkway will be next to the rooftop helipad of the mayor. <laughs> no, we're not working on that bit at the moment. We'll do, we're doing scenery work over here. Yes, I know we're still doing a bit of an industrial area, but it's still more scenery work rather than the, the urban work. Hello, Willis1961. Okay. I, may, I, I could maybe fit one of these trees in here as well. Who knows? Actually, I quite like that. Mmm. Fits in quite well with the colors. Ooh. A pine. A pine tree, you say? Yes. Uh... That mayor really gets around, sticking his nose in everyone's business. Mm -hmm. For once, there is a mayor who is actually active in that way. Hmm. Why ever would he do that? <laughs> oh, why ever? Yes, of course. I did realize that that was that word before. Okay. I'm glad that, it's, that it looks like this area isn't going to take as long to build as some of the previous areas that we've been working on. The Seymour Porridge Co. Strong, Co Strong rivals of Poor Roger does everything they can to spite him and open up a garbage dump next door. <laughs> a garbage dump. <laughs> well, I, I don't 
know if I really want that as an industry. Because we've already got... I mean... Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's a fun thought, but I don't think I'll make it an actual industry this time. Oh, so it is with a G. Roger. No need for one. It's just a fun story. Yeah, yeah. No, because the first time he said it was without a G. See? Roger. There's no D. In the actual name there is no D. In the, the version that he said. Dun 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 bum dun 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 That looks nice. Roger, roger, and don't call me Charlie. Ha ha ha. Yes. Over and out. <laughs> At least the overhead walkway doesn't go over the rooftop helipad. A hospital? What is it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Indeed. Hmm. Bit too broad. I don't, I like having the grass over here, but I don't like the way it looks different on the left than it does to, on the right, because overall, <clears throat> overall I like the, the way this grass looks more than it does over here. Yeah, I was thinking of lowering it down. That is what I was about to recommend to myself for some strange reason. Um, oh yeah, that Tears 19 lighting sh issue on older assets. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. It, do it, it does look a bit odd, but it looks better with shadows on. The reason I've just turned shadows on to low, just for performance reasons, but if I turn shadows on higher so that these splines have shadows as well, it does look a bit better. Add a lawnmower! <laughs> well, how about a rotary lawnmower? Dun, dun, dun! Built by Southern Pacific! Dun, dun, dun! How about that? Um, and maybe adding the grass sage? Sedge? Spline within the patch of forest? Um, I'll look into it. Haha! <laughs> If that was an actual feature of TS19, you didn't. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I know, you probably just are still typing and just accidentally pressed return or something. You didn't get the latest patch? The one with the lawnmower? Well, I'm still in service pack, uh, service pack 2 because I can't update yet because I would need to update my operating system first, which I can't do at the moment. So... 
That's why I'm still in the service pack two. Okay, I quite like this. I didn't, unfortunately. I can't update yet. Yep, same. Mm -hmm. okay, that looks quite good. Let's have a look at what Kango recommended. Grass Sedge. All right, up here. Nope, come on. There we go. Grass Sedge. Spine. Um, no, it's not a wetland. I might add this down here, under the bridge or something. So I'll, I'll place it down here so I don't forget about it. But not up here. It is in source pack 3.14159. Ah, oh, so you couldn't update to source pack 4 then. You'd miss it. Mm. But good to know. Is the lawnmower feature any fun? <laughs> the Jeff and Chester Cheshire carriage tours opted out of providing horse-drawn tours of the cement factory when Roger proposed the idea. Oh right, the idea to, to have them. <laughs> yes, I see. I was thinking, wait, what idea? Oh, you of course mean the idea to have the horse-drawn tours at all. <coughs> <laughs> Should I spare you the Southern Pacific Rotary Snow uh, Lawnmower? <laughs> no, but I see what you mean. Right, see what it looks like in the forest. No, I don't like it there. Uh, okay, cheers. Also, yes, I already read that now. That's it. Thank you for reminding me. That's the service pack that also added Pi to the game. Well,. Trains already has circles, so it would already have pi, technically. Okay. Da dum dun dum dun 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 dum dun dun na 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 Okay. Hmm, do I want to have the darker grass texture underneath here? Maybe. Let's see what it looks like with this texture. Does that look good? Well, yeah, it does look good, but it looks a bit too dense. I think I prefer it lighter, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I do. It feels more open than it's supposed to, even though I've painted it down here. Although, do I? Mm, maybe I'll leave a little bit of the lighter color around the edges. But have the core of it be darker. Um, I would be laughing quite a bit if, while browsing online, I found horse-drawn carriage tours of a cement factory. Well... If you think about it, in kind of Victorian times, if you think like the, the owner of the factory or something, or the foreman or whoever, visits the factory to see how things are going, then they might actually give him a horse-drawn tour of the factory, of, of between the buildings. So, <laughs> might not be that preposterous as it seems. So there never were any if they were opted out for the, right after the idea was proposed? 
Yes, Kang the idea was rejected and no, tour, no, no tours took place. Ah, but we could have a coupon day or something, if you get the reference. Yep, horse vets of the time would probably say that the cement dust is great for the horse lungs. No, because the horses are assets that are better alive than dead. It makes sense for people to claim that coal dust and slate dust are healthy for humans, because it means that the people can be exploited more. But for horses, it really wouldn't make any sense. So spec 3.141959 pi. The young whippersnappers just don't get old man humor. I do. That's why I said we've already got circles. <laughs> Didn't you? I, I did. I did though. You said that the update also added pi, and they said, well, <clears throat> trains already had circles before, so I think pi was already in the game before. I did get it. <laughs> All right, good to know. Oh, I get it now. Didn't pay close enough attention to the number. Should I say coupon day? Yes, coupon day. Do you get the reference? Nope, not DS9. Hmm, I'll change this to be the lighter texture. Yeah, it looks better with this, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, nope, it's not DS9. That would be gold pressed Latinum Day. <laughs> it would be. <clears throat> but no, it's not DS9. It's not a DS9 reference. Come on, surely you should know this. I know, I know the joke again with, with Shirley, but no, you should surely know this. Unless you've never seen the film, in which case you probably don't know this. Hmm, do I better with or without? Uh, probably with. Uh, I said don't call me Charlie. Haha, <laughs> there we go again. Yes, <laughs> of course. <clears throat> no, but the, the, do you want me to tell you what where the reference is from? How about triple drawn carriage tours? Ha! <laughs> well, you wouldn't really. They, they, those wouldn't really be carriages. You'd have to have like, like those Jurassic World spheres, like the like those big hamster balls that the people are inside. And you'd have to have like eight or or more different smaller hamster balls on it, where the tribbles are inside. Must be pretty big tribbles, oh, pretty, or pretty small characters, or it would have to be many, many tribbles. Okay, do you want me to tell you what the reference is from or not? 
Doctor Who? Nope, it's not Doctor Who. Jurassic Park. Yes, of course. Jurassic Park. There you go. <laughs> I knew someone would get it. Oh, also, Willis, a new Human for Fat level has released yesterday. <clears throat> it goes by the name of Lumber. Yes. <laughs> Basically. I think we can probably manage to play that on stream at some point. Probably, yes. If people are up for it. I need bushes. Mm-hmm. Dun 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 That's a bit too tall. Okay. <clears throat> you have to dodge around the lumbering giant? I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Well, if I've seen the thumbnail, and if the thumbnail is anything to go by, then no. But if the thumbnail is there to trick you, then pr probably yes. Maybe, uh, should we have one more in there, or would that be a bit too much? I think that's, well, might be good if I move it closer to there, and then move it down a bit more. Like that, maybe? Or is that too much? I think this way is, it's better. Um, tell you what, I'll slide you 25 slips of gold-pressed platinum if you just get out there in your clown costume and try to convince the guard that you're a policeman. Then, and only then, can I get you promoted to Upper Rear Admiral. Before that, it's nothing but bread and jail cell cleaning for you, I'm afraid. Aww. Maybe. I've intentionally steered clear of those if any spoilers for the level as I want to explore it firsthand on stream. Oh, Giant lumber would probably more like. But I don't know. Sometimes less is more. Mm-hmm. True. Or rather less is better.
Less mourns the experience. Interesting. Less mourns the experience, as in trauert, the German word trauert. Why would less mourn the experience? Hmm. Less is more better. <laughs> True, sometimes. More lessens the experience. Ah. Lessons or lessons? Hmm. More lessons lessen the experience. Shall is not mourns, mourn. Oh, more ends. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, what do I want to do now? <clears throat> Let's see. Switches. Let's do switches. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's too close. I'll have to get a different switch. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Let's quickly hop over to the yard to see what switches I use there. Don't worry, we're not staying long. Ah, these ones, small ones. Maybe they're closer. Morens, a former mu municipality of the district Broy in the canton of F Fribourg, Switzerland. Huh. I did not know that, if that is true. Oh, you see. Oh, it would appear so. <laughs> Interesting. Mm, that should work ish. Still a little close, but I think that's fine. Okay, am I missing any switches? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Hmm. What to do next? Probably 
probably this bit actually to the main line. I was blatantly unaware of this of that. I am full of delightfully useless bits of trivial information. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Delightful is right. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and fill this all with grass, pretty much. Leaving some gaps, of course. How does that look? Looks okay, but I'll put the other grass in as well, the other spline. Dun 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 Okay, a little bit of the grass up here as well. I think this does need some small trees and bushes. Give something to do for the teenager that lives next door to earn some spending money mowing the lawn. <laughs> the lawn. Ah, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot to do, a whole lot. Oh, yes, that reminds me, I need to paint the... Um, the ballast underneath this bit as well, because I have not done that yet, apparently. Up here I don't need it, because we've got this wood thing here. Ooh, maybe we can have some of the other bushes there. Hold on, I'll I'll quickly look for them. Oh, where were they? Uh, let's just have a look along here. I mean, um, these ones. Eh, 
Yes, these ones I meant. I can move some of them into the ground as well. Just move some of them into the ground a little bit. Just so it won't block the line of sight as much. Yes, wood things tend to preclude the need for ballast. <laughs> Indeed, that is a very good point you make there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's already down, okay. And then of course I need to paint the texture beneath. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Bum, ba, dun, ba, dun, ba, dun. Is that good? Actually, I prefer it with the other texture for some reason. I don't know why, but I prefer it without the this darker grass texture. Maybe on the bank here. Yes, I do prefer this. Hmm. Okay, let's do with chat. Right. Why the is a seaside town situated in Gre Grillby Island on Grillby Island? <coughs> Grillby. It is the largest town on the isle of the island, and the island itself is not much an island, but rather a peninsula, located just off the coast of Phaeton Heath in the ceremonial county of Culture England. <laughs> Interesting. You, so, Wyde is a seaside town situated on Grillby Island. It is the largest town of the island, really more of a city, and the island itself is not so much an island, but rather a peninsula, and it's not really located on it either. <laughs> no, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, this can't be being fictitious in origin. Driver of carriage points off to the left, and over there you will see some typical wood things. They quite often negate the need for excess ballast, spilling off the right of way. <laughs> Ah, yes, indeed. So it's kind of just driving along here, and then pointing up there. Also saying, mind your head, because he's driving through with a double-decker coach for some reason, or carriage for some reason. Oh, how whimsical. So is it an island or a peninsula? Make up your mind. I'm so confused. XD. <laughs> YD is a... is like ride... On the Isle of Wight. Oh, so it's wide. So not E at the end, so wide. Yes, I see what you mean. It might actually be a city though if it's if it's that wide. Hello VGR. How are you doing? Good? Okay, good. Who knows? You probably know. Let's grab the other type of bush as well. 
that one. I was deciding on the final height of Eliza. <clears throat> okay, how many miles did you go with? Does that add? Maybe. No, it doesn't. I don't like it. Currently, she stands 2.11 meters or 6 foot 10 inches. Hmm. That is really quite tall. Willis, it's called Grelby Island, but it's not really an island as it is still connected to the mainland. A bit like the Isle of Purbeck on the south coast of England. Well, maybe one of these islands was at one point an island, but just is no longer an island. <clears throat> Have you considered this option, or this possibility rather? Okay, so I quite like how this looks. It's simple, not too fancy, which I know means roughly the same thing. So now, I think the difficult bit, I mean, over, over here, I want to have a few houses along this bit, maybe a field in this area. And then over here, this is a bit more difficult because I could just have fields over here, but I don't know that I want that necessarily. Hmm. I guess I'll put a little bit more of the asphalt underneath this dome type structure and then we'll see what it looks like. So is the Isle of Wight where Barrow Heights was originated from? I don't know. She's taller than LeBron James. He is 2.06 meters tall. Oh, short eyes. Oh, you've redecorated the ground covers. <laughs> yes, I know. I don't like it. I Island at high tide and peninsula at low tide? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Could be. Oh, right. Right, white. <laughs> Oh, the guy from Lord of the Rings. That's why I had no idea who he was. <laughs> Mature. Have yet to see, read Lord of the Rings. Should I say Barrow Wits, not Heights. Oh, did I say Heights? Oh, sorry. My mistake. <laughs> this one I need as well. Like that. And then we'll need the cracked texture as well. No, not that one. That's the grass texture. That one, yes. <laughs> okay, let's have a look like what that will be. Well, first Grubby Island was an actual island, and then, sure, then they built a causeway to connect it to the mainland, about one to two miles in length. Hmm. Now, that would be 
a good location for an overhead walkway alongside an overhead conveyor to carry gravel across the road and tracks. Um, yes, if... But the thing is, this thing's called a... Uh, actually, what, what is it called? Doesn't have a particular name. Hmm. I thought it had a name. I mean, it, what would this be for realistically? Would it be for storing cement or gravel maybe? Because gravel's just kind of sitting out here. Might be maybe sand or something? Um, it would actually make sense there and have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Definitely look interesting. Underground gravel containment unit. <laughs> oh, so you mean that could be the UGCU? I can try. But I think maybe having a pipe would be better. Maybe a bit of a thicker one. <laughs> yes. Hello, Chris. You joined right now. You totally didn't lurk. How are you? They store gravel, sand, etc. that need to be kept out of weather and dry. Ah, well that that makes sense. Unfortunately, well actually, mm, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how well that would look. Maybe from this thing. Because if I do it like that, it would go in at the, not all the way to the top. At the edge, kind of, that's what I, what, that's what I meant, the edge, yes. At the side, rather. Actually, wait, does that? Oh, I see. <coughs> That's a bit of an issue. Let's look for other pipes. Maybe another pipe would be better. Hmm. What about this one? Actually, this one could work a bit better. Ish. Come on. I don't know. Do pipes even make that much sense? I, let's see. I look for a conveyor. I don't know if I have any conveyor as... Oh, that's... Let's look. Oh, I'm... I think I do have some conveyor assets. Well, this one's a covered thing. It would probably be covered, actually. Maybe one of these ones. Although that looks a bit too rusty. Ah, this one might look good. <clears throat> okay, now... Where does it put in the support if I add a spline point? Oh, at that point, good. 
So if we do have a conveyor here, then I could probably feasibly just lift this up and then make it connect up there. Hmm. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Although it should really be a straight line across. Hold on. Like that ish. Probably have one there as well, just so we've actually got a support on the side. There we are. Does that look better? Maybe one more. There. Or maybe if we, if I straighten this bit and then insert a spline point there. Does that look good? I don't know. I'm not sure about this particular thing. I think it might add too much. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think that looks okay? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Right. Hi, right, what's the asset name of this kind of tent? Ah, the asset name, hold on. So, this is called Building Oxwell Mains Cement Plant 1. There. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. One moment there. Tent, which one? Uh, and it looks more made of concrete. As for Eliza, why Eliza is this big, it's because she suffers from a rare genetical condition called gigantism. Hmm. Okay. Need something to connect at the top. Uh, it was th thought through genes former from her dad to her. Alright, I see. Or conveyor. Yeah, conveyor. Mm -hmm. R C C C U G C U. <laughs> I see. Um, pipe does not really make sense. Yeah, I thought maybe cement. If it's storing actual cement powder or something, but I suppose I don't. Uh, I'm not really sure what it stores in there. Right, I see. Conveyor plan. Vacuum pipe for gravel. <laughs> the conveyor should go to the place where the cement will be mixed. Well. The cement is probably being mixed in this place somewhere. We've, this already comes connected with conveyors. Not bad. At least if gravel is stored in be this big tent-like building. Hmm. What does the one just above it in the list look like? Oh, do you mean the the tent or do you mean the... Uh, because this is the one, uh, or do you mean the conveyor? So this is the one above the tent in the list. You've got, you've got this one. I'll show you the other one as well, in case you meant the conveyor. So this is the enclosed conveyor. Got an enclosed bridge. If I type, for, if I look for conveyor. Uh, where is it? Hold on, I'll just grab it. Oh, just above it. it. It looks like that, pretty much. So it looks it looks very very similar, only not green. Do you think that that would be better? Maybe. Might fit in a bit better. 
Although the green does give it a bit more color. Let's go building ox remains cement plant one. We need this. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was what the abbreviation was for. Thanks for the name, conveyor. Oh, then close bridge could be our overhead walkway. That was the intent. <laughs> a bit. Could be laid right on top of the conveyor. Oh, right, in that case, no. The grey colour matches the rest of the plant. True, or the grey just blends in with the environment. Green stands out more make of that, but you will. I mean, I can have a look at what it... I can try to use the bulk replace asset. Assets to update. Uh, the enclosed conveyor, yes. Now, let's see. If I... Ooh, that's mod 2. What's mod 1? Ah, well, that's actually a bit... Writer. Hmm. No, mod 2. Okay, let's just do this section only, even though I think I only used it here. So... Hmm. I think I do like grey more. It looks like it's more one facility. Good call. Right. Grey would fit to the factory. True. Okay. Let's put a fence around here. Okay. Then we want a gate on either side. Okay. A little bit more of that darker texture. Do I like that more? I think I like that more. Now I need a gate. I think it's called gate. Yes, it is. <laughs> Although that looks a bit tall. I'll find the other one, the lower one. Uh, this one? I don't know, no. Where's the other one? Hold on. I'm looking for an asset. <laughs> Where did I use it? Um, might actually be quicker looking for it in the list. Um. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to look for it in the list. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Did you see the link? Yes, I did see the link. Oh, I have more than 30 seconds stream lag. Ooh. Lag today. It happens. Maybe reloading the page would help fix some of the issues. Maybe place some outhouses or 1960s potter potties around the place. Um, I don't know. Or, <laughs> or lower that one in the ground a bit. That's interesting because it sounds a bit like that could be relate. That could be uh, actually that fits really quite well. Thank you. Because that could be related to Kanga's message. It's like Kanga says, maybe place some outhouses or 1960s porta potties around the place. And then you say, or lower that one in the ground a bit. <laughs> uh, or would toilet related facilities be found within one of the buildings? Probably, yeah, since it's a permanent site. Well, as permanent as anything, well, as some things built by people is. Let's see, strange, very strange. Yes, digging a hole for a new outhouse. <laughs> yeah, that is what it sounds like. You know, if you want to see some outhouses on this map, I do have some. Tell you what, I'll quickly show them to you. They are dot 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 over here. There they are, yes, as you can see. <laughs> Quite a fun stream when we built this place. Also, back here, when I, when I built this, I used to have a lot more open space that didn't have any grass splines on it. Same down further in the valley. Like, for example, over here. Although, no, I pretty much had it going along the, the tracks and then, well, no, there were breaks. So you can see how little grass plants I had here, which does actually fit quite well with what I want to achieve here. But over here, I kind of... This tile has kind of changed. Uh, well, over here, not so much because the fields don't have any. But in some of these areas, I've now got a lot of grass blind, like for example over here. Hmm. But I suppose there's just a little enclosed piece. Yes, <clears throat> we did have indoor plumbing here in the colonies <laughs> back in the 60s. Oh really? I had no idea you had that in the 1760s. Mm hmm. Shines flashlight into it at night. This one goes down for three miles. I know, could believe it either. <laughs> hmm, even the Romans had sewers, if I recall correctly. Yes, they did. Although my memory's a bit hazy in this, I was understandably quite young at the time. <laughs> ah, no, you were at least a hundred. What was I doing? Over here, yes. Okay. So... Do I want a fence along here as well? Probably. Let's... What would look, what would look better like that maybe? Hmm. Let's have a look. Hmm. Do I like that or do I like it more open? Let's have a look. I think I will add a fence here, along the road. Mm. 
<laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, that breaks it. Bit tricky. I'd have to do it manually. Hold on. <sighs> it's because of the way that the splines are straightened and not straightened that it's difficult to... Because, because in trains a spline that you place down is affected by the splines you place down after it, unless it's straightened, it can be a bit difficult to place things along these curves, so long long stretches of non-straightened splines, such as the road here. So I'll have to do it in little steps, because I'll because I have to insert a spline point where the crossing is that the road just doesn't have, and so that's why I need to do it. Shouldn't take too long. I think we'll be done in about three months with this fence, I mean. Luckily we're all on the same page about it and totally not on the fence about it. Although, do I like the fence going that far, actually? I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I am a bit on the fence about it. What if the fence just ended here? Hold on, I'll quickly test this. Would that look better? Nope, not that. So the fence comes along here, ends there, and then it gets so close. No, I like it better the way it was before. Hold on. Luckily, you can just undo it. <clears throat> There we are. So, hmm. back in my teenage years, hot wiring a chariot and taking it out for a joyride. Those were the days, hot wiring. I probably used hot hay wire. Um, oh yes, I also loved tricking the traveling merchants into handing out free strawberries for me and my mates. Great times. Yes, Egyptian ones, if I recall correctly. Uh, don't overestimate your fence there, buddy. What do you mean? Three months. That'd be, what, February? I think it's gonna take at least seven seconds. <laughs> at least. Okay. And then we'll probably just have fields around here. Let's, let's put in a few fields around this place. Just so we can better see what it looks like.
Da dun da dun da dum. Cleopatra, Egypt, my lads from back in the day. Ah, yes, those, of course. Uh, yes, those. <laughs> Strawberries, amateur. We always managed to get an amphora or two of garum. <laughs> garum. Ah, uh, yes, it was sit. It, it was the good stuff that was sitting out, uh, fermenting in the sun, for. A long time on the southern side of the factory, not in the northern side. Incidentally, I learned a couple of months ago that there's evidence of a law being passed in in Rome that garum factories had to be built at least, I think, uh, two mile or one and a half miles or something like that away from a village, because the smell of them was so bad. And there were so many of them because garum had become such uh, basically like ketchup for them that there were so many garum factories popping up all over the place that a law like that had to be put in place. Yeah. The, fa the thing about garum is that it's actually the the gut bacteria of the fish that then kind of half digest the fish itself, which then what you're drinking if you if you drink garum is mostly just um, the fish's well essentially the, the the fish's digestion fluids digesting itself with some spices and, and other stuff mixed in. So, yes. Uh, Cleopatra. Yeah, they would probably be long dead by then. Eh, who knows? Maybe they found some sort of cryogenic stasis pod or something. Oh, so yummy smelling factory. <laughs> that is indeed the empire we had brought up in casual conversation with the Lord. You know, the Lord that thinks he owns the place, but really only does the bidding for us without him knowing. He thinks the time... He thinks... Oh, <laughs> I read that as Time Lord, and I got really excited that it might be about Doctor Who, but sadly it isn't. He thinks it's the Lord that gives him orders, when really it's only us. Interesting. Ugh, that. This statement is largely debatable, to say the least. Seagulls probably love it though. <laughs> yes indeed. Elsinor! Hello. Welcome if you're here. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Use garum as salad dressing for my kimchi. Ha! Huh. Actually, there is evidence that the Romans used garum in sweets. Yes. They had fish digesting themselves sauce sweets. Uh, but also, there is in poetry, Roman poetry, references to garum and how overused it is now, how the rich and everybody uh, uses so much of it, and how foul it is, and how foul it makes people's breaths, and how it causes them illness as its acidic nature, as it damages the organs and the stomach and, and things. So, not everybody loved it, apparently. But a lot of people did. Actually, let's create a small place here for the uh, access way. Hold on, where's the other spline point? Is there another spline? There should be another spline here somewhere. Hold on. Let's just quickly separate that. Yes, there is another spline there. Come on, spline point. Where are you, spline point? Oh, there we go. Spline point, yes.
This statement was referring to Oh So Yummy Smell Factory. Oh, I see. All right. Okay, settled for a final height of 2.07 meters or 6 foot 9 for Eliza. Okay. Does her height give her any health issues? Like, I know, I know that a lot of really tall people do have health issues with their spine and things. Nope, it doesn't? Okay, well, that's something. Her bones are also massive. Okay. You need to get a gate. Ah, okay, this one doesn't have a gate. <laughs> There's a gate. Put in a fence. <laughs> okay, that's quite nice, I think. Maybe use a few <coughs> shrubs here and there, but actually it might look quite good having it open. We'll see. Well, Charadice the Great. If you put it like that, it sounds quite disgusting. But we never marketed it as such. We called it Garum. Simple. Just the simple act of bringing up the word Garum really gets the saliva going. <laughs> Yes, it makes the saliva run away because it's scared of what you you might put in your mouth. It really gets it going. All right, it majestically paints the picture of pure, delicative excellency. Huh. Well, it's supposed it it was mark it was it was the taste of the sea, and by the taste of the sea they mean the taste of really of quite a lot of fish. Of course, there were different flavors of it as well, so different directions, so with different um, herbs and spices mixed in, or herbs if you prefer. Uh, Worcestershire sauce could be considered a descendant of garum. Yes, there are modern day, quite a few modern day fish sauces that are made in similar ways. But Eliza's height causes some rather mundane problems. Ah, I see. But if she's got that massive muscles, thick muscles, then that really adds quite a lot of weight, which means that she, need, she would need quite a more muscle mass as well, the bones, if you have massive bones I mean, then she needs more muscles, or bigger muscles. And with that muscle mass, like is that reflected in her model as well? 135 kilogram is her weight, yes. Okay. Bumps her head on doorways quite often. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's probably the sort of thing he meant.
Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> How does this look? Uh, okay, it's not done yet. To, that looks too organized, hold on. That looks a little better. I think I just need some more bushes or things. Actually, wait, that's the same tree I already placed. Hold on. Maybe that one. Okay, let's try that. Now it's starting to look better. Okay. Right, ahem, <clears throat> hem indeed. No, she leans under the top, but 90% must be custom tailored to her size. Oh, you mean of her clothes? Yeah, of her clothes. Calling garum related merchandise like our delightful garum candy, fish digesting themselves candy, really distorts the great oceanic confection into a contorted mess of disgusting fish flesh. Eyes and fins not respectable at all, really. Yes, I very much agree. That's not respectable. Hard to get in and out of a mini. <laughs> she has a Mercedes G-Wagon. Oh, right, she says. Posting an image, or a link, rather. Oh, I see. <laughs> that CGI of the cliff there it doesn't look really and very good. I mean, that looks so distorted. That, that looks amateurish. Why do Mercedes website not have better CGI on their rock there? On that, unless they want to make it clear that the angle that the vehicle is at is not representative of the actual product. Like that it can't actually climb that without slipping down. Hmm. But yeah, it's probably as well. Yeah, with big off off road wheels. Never had any myself or anything like it really, and I don't know the ingredients of it either. Oh, do you mean the 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 car, or do you mean oh, you mean the garum? Ah, uh, oh, the sauce. Alongside her, uh, A W I I or two tab three five E I F V. I have no idea what that is. What? No Lee and Perrins. No, 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 Lee and Perrins. Okay. So the only things that aren't stuff like... Hasn't scarves? All right, yeah. Her Barrett and Patrol wheels are the only things that aren't adjusted. Hmm. Right. 
uh, and ties, bow ties are cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think I like that here. Sure, I meant the yes, the, the sauce. Yes. Worcestershire. Okay, so next. Let's put another field in back there. Well, let's put another road in first and then the field. <laughs> da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. Okay. Mhm. 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 There we are. Let's just fill that in. <laughs> I think I'll need a little bit more cross on this side. Okay, a little bit like that. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll need to actually what sort of spline should I have? <clears throat> All right, I forgot this spline. It's been so long since I've made fields in this map. I need the shrub spline, of course. Okay, there we are. And I need the dark texture as well. <laughs> Oop. Uh, how did we get here? Did you see that? It teleported! It teleported me, I tell ya! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So... Uh, and headphones, okay. And fez, and a fez, <laughs> of course a fez. <laughs> Let's see. All oh, right. I see. Uh, they make the sauce apparently. <laughs> of course. Next, you will be telling me you don't eat marmite. Well, not unless you want to know. Want me to <laughs> tell you? Here's a picture of Eliza in her current state. Um. I see. Well, she looks like she's gone to a uh, beach resort of some sort. So that's good for her. And yeah, I can see the muscles. Uh, here's a picture. Yes. Ah, she is in her swimsuit. So you can see her muscles without getting banned on Twitch. 
She does. Mm -hmm. Although, yes, although the, da the danger of banning only really exists if you show it on stream. Well, not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I appreciate it. Anyway, what did I want? I wanted stuff. Uh, right. Uh, grass. Yeah, so here there's also very little edge, so I'll, I'll just use this spline. Mm -hmm. I'll grab the texture as well. Ah yes, thermal springs, of course. Okay, almost. Done. I'll put in a little gate here. Okay, let's get the fence. No, not the guy you sell stuff to. No, I meant, of course, the actual fence that stops you from going. So, well, I guess he could also stop you from going. So, I mean, the static fence. <laughs> okay, and then we can have a little bit of a pasture back here. No, not pastor, a pasture, yes. <laughs> okay, let's just add a bit of fence. Like that, that should be fine. Not that I'm expecting a fine, mind you, I'm just expecting it to be fine. Let's get the cattle. Here, cattle, 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 cattle. Hello.
There we are. Let's add some of those broad trees as well. Add a little bit of this uh, darker texture, the longer grass texture. I know I'm not really speaking very much at the moment, just kind of concentrating on this. Apologies. Okay. Need a little bit of grass on the edge, and then I'll reach out. I think that looks good. Ooh, actually, maybe a few more of the, the uh, shrubs. Not the grass, hold on. The FMA shrubs. Uh, just sort of along this bit. Yeah, that's uh, not quite right. Like that, perhaps. Yes, and then I'll put in some small trees, like these coniferous ones. I think that looks better. Probably. Hmm. I think adding one in there and then moving it down help. Just sort of like that. Yeah, that helps a lot. Um, <laughs> one over there and then moving that down as well. Okay, now I'll save and then I'll reach out. To pick up half a year a supply of thermal springs water? <laughs> no, SD and MD series entries are designed to mimic humans. They also need a break. Hmm. Fencer unit. All right. Almost everyone knows her locally, as she technically is a royal without a crown or dress. And her height. So would they survive without eating and drinking if they're androids? Or have they been made to require traditional human sustenance? All right. Shara is, ah, yes, the pastor. <laughs> No, MD, for example, doesn't need to drink. Get a drink. She only needs to recharge in her dedicated charging port. Uh, hmm. The cattle see don't don't seem to want to come. Maybe the sound of a bell would get them to come over. Uh, maybe. Otherwise, she acts eight percent the way humans do. You can differentiate androids very easily due to their different color scheme. Okay. Ah, right, I see. So how does she actually recharge that? Is there some sort of plug attached to her which she needs to plug into charge socket? Probably just a little port you can open up with a cable, I would assume. Mm, the back. The port is on her back, so if she lays in the port, the daughter port connects to the mother port on MD. All right. Oxwell Mains in, is in Scotland. Ah, interesting. I didn't know. Right, the building, yes, the tent building. Mm -hmm. A bar above her eyelashes will indicate when she's fully charged. Hmm. Why not have it so that the degree to which her eyes are open indicates how fully charged she is? So if her, while she's charging, if she's completely empty, her eyes are shut. But then as she charges, her eyes like slowly open. So if she's 50% charged, her eyes are 50% open. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Is the train working your sugar cane plantation? Oh? Is there? Oh, is that that steam locomotive that? Ah, yes, I'm aware of this. I am aware of that. And actually, that... Uh, I watched a video about that by uh, Distant Signal. 
And that was actually what inspired me to build a sugar cane plantation in the first place. <laughs> sure it is. The, uh, like in the UK, truck sim. What do you mean? They are just a few hours south here. Ooh, well that's really good of you. Uh, good for you, sorry. Can't watch it, unfortunately, to Facebook's annoying pop-ups, but nice. Yeah, I managed to begin play before it came up with a pop-up, and I watched it in the background. Upon connecting, she will enter sleep mode like computer. If you unplug the port, the char charger is connected to a wall socket. She will automatically wake up. Wow, nice. <laughs> that, okay, yes, good. Okay, so, oh, we've only got three minutes left. I should probably get a thumbnail of sorts. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum diddle da dum diddle da dum maybe something like this. Although does that really look that interesting? Maybe. Ooh, maybe something like that with the cows on the side there. That could actually look quite good. Actually, if I increase the tree detail a little bit. Some of the, yeah, those trees back there should pop over. I think I'll probably use that one. Now, change that back down to low, the tree detail. Ooh, I'll have to place an object before I save, because if I don't, then it could have disastrous consequences, I tell you. Let's place this tree there. Sure is. In SES Software's UK track sim, the fatigue icon of the hut was also an eye. Oh, right. Uh, yes, I thought you meant actual eyes opening and closing. Oh, right. I see. I'm loving the progress today. Thank you. And before you ask, yes, I'm sure I'll still love it tomorrow as well. <laughs> Dirt detail ultra. <laughs> okay, well, with that, thank you all very much for watching. Shoutouts. My game Living Art is releasing on Steam in a few days. Actually, five days. And that, that's my shoutout done. Now, Kango Fango streams on Sundays, and if you play trains, have a look on the Dallas station for Central Europe, as well as Cornish Railways. And now I'll need to rechat, and then we'll, we'll finish. Need to add a few brown cows so we can have chocolate milk. Ta! Well, interesting. The thin bar of eyelashes will turn fully green with M when MD is fully charged. And then when you want to wake her up, you just press the button on the side of the charge pot. So yeah, it seems we got to the end. Yes, we have. Oh, who started that rumor, Willis? <laughs> Tomorrow, Eliza and Carol will be back at looking for bombs. Probably, probably. <laughs> Although some other stuff might happen. Bye, Shadows. Many thanks for the stream and shoutout. It's not a rumor. It's a known fact. Yes, it's a known fact. It's on all the popular fact-checking websites which means it must be true. All right, I get those confused. <laughs> anyway, bye people, bye. Bye, see you tonight. Lufharst, Lufharst, Herst. Luf, Luf, Lufharst, what? <laughs> oh. Anyway, bye. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> see you tomorrow, yes, indeed. <laughs>